Guys, Smiley here with Moments in the Grand Battles! Thank you, thank you! Big Bird! Versus Winnie the Pooh! Begin! It's a tale of two kids icons from the hood to the hundred acre wood. I'm gonna beat the living bird seat out, you understood? I'm the childhood pal of Millie. Just ask Christopher Robin. I'll make you cry, and I'm not talking about the song by Kenny Loggins. My rhymes will buzz around over, under, and through like Rover. I have every trick in the book, plus I'm not in the book like Cobra. I'm gonna rustle all your feathers, not to mention your jimmies. I know you inside and out almost as much as Carol Spinney. When I'm done with you, Pinhead, you're gonna be feeling real blue. Now phone town and my victory going down in the book of Pooh. I've made Disney more money than the worth of Donald Trump. Earning me more honey than can be taken by any Heffalo. I'm a big black rain cloud, pouring on your Macy's parade. Call me Mitt Romney, cause I'm giving you a major downgrade. I'm laying down the smack down here in the ash down forest. I've been to Skull and Back, son. Would you last walk two miles from here? This battle brings brought to you by the letter B. As in B, be like Big Bird, which would be me. I like it. Follow that, sir. I'm out on a mission. Breaking you like I broke into public television. You may be older and even more pleasant than me, Pooh Bear. But I'll make your so fast. I'm dead like Mr. Hooper. I'm gonna fly under your radar. Have you down like Eeyore's house. I'm normally nice. Now I'm going full ass through the ground. Now stop at 69 of this entertaining kiss. Bits and quarters. Like, how could that be tickled by Apple or Stupid Sin? Don't tell me that you're stuffing out. Oh, Snuffy be gone. My jazz are simple. But they'll haunt you your whole life long. I'm gonna sound like a fake. You're a very, very little brain. Beating me will be impossible like your home run derby gang. If you weren't just a fluff filled dog, I'd say it'd make you bleed. I teach children literacy. But you can barely even read. Leave this to me, Pooh. I may sound like a little girl and be the size of a mouse, but I'm still bringing some mad pig power in this house. Helping defeat this feathered fiend will be my pleasure. Next to my blustery. Yours are a mild spring zephyr. You'll find this itty bitty package to be carrying big things. You don't scare me, and that says a lot. You don't even have wings. What are you even supposed to be, a canary or a lark? Either way, I'm conquering you like my fear of the dark. Yes, you're eight times my size, but I'm not overwhelmed. I'll have you know, just like you, I have my very own film. In terms of size to coolness ratio, I'm ten times more fly. My only worthy match on your street is teeny little super guy. People write books about my smallest bee and a virtue. To beat you, I just need a few good friends and a stick. Uh-oh! Who wants to die? If you can call for backup, then by Henson, so can we! And of the people in our neighborhood, the best is me! Till now, everyone watching has been waiting for Elmo! Did you really think they'd make this without me? Hell no! Ever since I came along, half the show has been about me! I've got living furniture in the drawer from Bruce Almighty! I'm cuddling backstage with hot cold chicks like Katy Perry! Well, you two are more obviously gay than Bert and Ernie! Kids, can you guess what Elmo's thinking about today? Congrats if you said words to make these losers go away! I mean, you mean so a funny boy. When it comes to rapid kids, I can tigers are the real McCoy. A match between you and me, her terribly uneven. A pervasive whole career, even worse than Selvin Stevens. I'm rivaled only by Hobbs, for most adorable tiger. Compared to me, you're like something out of H.R. Geiger. I'm truly one of a kind, I like you, little buddy. You're really just a random extra that happened to get lucky. You're a creator's pet, so swallow your pride and surrender, before you make me bring back the mass defender! And Big Bird, while I can't exactly call you a bully, your skills are more non-existent than my biological family. Back to you, Elmo, my mother tells me you have balls. You're weak, while I can't even be held back by the fourth wall. To go TTFP and leave our wood for good, you hell spawn, before my springy tail and I bow to you just like that pecan! <laughs> Rumors. FYI, Tigger, that's not springing your tail, it's tumor. 